Welcome, using an equal. I tell my students that whenever they can go ahead and enter an equation in the form of y equals, if it's not in y equals form, it's in standard form, solve for y. Then from there you can always put your equation into the y equals view of your graphing calculator. In this case we put 5 minus 2x next to y1, and then we put y equals 2x plus 3 down the next row. And we, after we do that, we can graph, and we can see our functions there. From there, we can go to the table view, if you want, by pressing second graph, and really evaluate. But then my students get to a situation like this, where instead of seeing y equal something, they see, in this case, y is less than or equal to something. And then they go to y equals, trying to do what I tell them to do, and they look for that inequality symbol. And they ask me, how do I get to that inequality symbol? Well, in a normal mode, I can't help them, but TI has unleashed a secret weapon. And here's the secret. There's an application called inequal that you can use on a graphing calculator. It comes preloaded on your TI-84 Plus and TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculators, and it can be uh, put into a TI-83 Plus calculator as well. And on a TI-83 Plus calculator, the Applications menu is accessed by the blue Apps key between Math and Program. On the TI-84 Plus and TI-04 Plus Silver Edition calculators, the key is in the same location, but the key is lettered with purple letters. And you press that, and you go down, in this case, to the N equals, and just arrow down to it, and press Enter once. You see this view, you press enter again, it says press any key, and you get this row of symbols below. You get equal, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. And we see that we have a less than or equal to option, which is the same as the inequality we're trying to evaluate. So we access that by first pressing the alpha key. Remember that, press the alpha key first to access those signs. And then we press the zoom key, which is right below the less than or equal to sign. And what it does is it places that downward triangle on the, on the left of the Y1, indicating shading below the boundary line. And then on the right side, the less than or equal to sign. And from there, we can graph it. Uh, we actually put it first, the expression on the right, into Y1. And then graph it. And we see a solid boundary line. We see a shaded area below it. And we can go to the stat edit view and enter this point negative 2 comma 5. We go back to y equals, make sure that plot 1 is highlighted. And then we can, from there, graph. And we see the point negative 2 comma 5 above the boundary line. So not on the line, let alone inside the shaded area. So therefore, that point is not part of the solution set. We cross it out. Next, we go back to stat edit, place 0 comma 4 in. We graph it, and we see that the point also is above the boundary line, so we cross that off. Next, we go back to stat edit, put in 1, 1. We graph it, and we see that that point is within the shaded area. And so that point is part of the solution set. We choose that as the correct answer. Now, what I'd like to do is go back to the y equals uh, view, and we're going to change this less than or equal to sign to a different sign. We're going to change it to less than. In order to do that, we press alpha first, and we press the window key, which is right below the less than sign. We do that, and it changes it to less than. And to the left, we have a downward triangle with three little dots above indicated, indicating a dash boundary line. And, and from there, we graph. And we can see that it's, in this case, it's not a solid line. It's a dash line. So that's the difference there. Now what I'd like you to do is graph the inequality y is greater than x squared minus 5. And I'd like you to stop the video if you have inequality on your calculator, use it to graph, then restart to see if you got the same result I did. OK, here it is. Uh, what I'm going to do is we have x squared minus 5 placed in there. And we're going to go, need to go back and change that symbol of less than to greater than in order to do that change that symbol, we go ahead and arrow over to the left 
2, that space just to the right of y1 to the left of x squared, and then we press the alpha key, and we have a blinking alpha symbol right here that's circled in red, and then we choose the uh, greater than symbol right there below it on that function key trace, and here we see it changed, and we see upward triangle, and the three little dots below that upward triangle indicating that that's going to be a greater than, and then we graph it and we see a dashed line for the boundary line of the arc of that parabola, and we see shaded above that arc line, so arc, so that's what it looks like. Now, in order to exit an equal, we exit much the same way we get into it by pressing the apps key first, and then we scroll down to the application itself, in this case in equals, and we press enter, and this time it gives us a menu. It realizes we're already in in equals. So it, in this case, to quit it, we go down to quit in equal and press enter, and we get this screen, and we go back to y equals, and we can see that our row of signs, uh, five signs at the bottom, is no longer there. We're out of it. And so to summarize, to use in equal, we first press the apps key, we scroll down to an equal where it, hap where it happens to be on our calculator. Then we press enter twice, which gets us to this view. We're uh, able to use it now. Then we use it. And then we press the alpha key first to access those signs above the function keys inside the view screen. And then what we do in order to get out of an equal, we go back to apps, then back to in equal, where we can access the three choice menu to take choice two, get out of it. Now for accessing an equal, again, as I mentioned, it comes preloaded on TI-84 Plus and TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculators, but it can be used on a TI-83 Plus calculator. In order to get that in my calculator, what I did is I downloaded it from www.education.ti.com, and here's the website that I entered for it. And from there I went to Downloads. From Downloads I went to Math Apps for the TI-83 Plus and TI-84 Plus families. And then I went to Inequality Graphing App. Chose that and I got this view and I chose Inequality Graphing English. And from there what I did is uh, I downloaded it and you can see to uh, put Save To and I put it inside this folder. Now you already have to have TI Connect in, on your computer to be able to have a place for a, an equal to go for you to from there put it into your calculator. And here I have an equal in the right circle and you can see it's uh, 39 kilo, kilobytes. And from there if I double click that I get this view and you have to highlight this on the line, select device, highlight this and then you press send to device and this is uh, a picture of me uh, transferring from my computer the uh, in a, in equal application and you can see on the screen of the computer the dialog box of that application loading on you see the, the, the green bar there and you can see also the uh, the silver link cable. You can also see on the right how it's where it's connected in the USB port of my computer. And you can see also at the bottom of the TI 83 Plus calculator where it plugs in. I also took a close up view here of the view screen of the calculator. It says receiving in equal app. And after it's received, we can see there uh, the third spot there in the applications is in equal. It's now in place. So if you have any problems or questions uh, using an equal or downloading it or transferring it from one calculator to another, I encourage you to call 1-800-TI-CARES. TI is hired. They've invested in your success using the graphing calculator by hiring a knowledgeable and competent staff that is ready to serve you many hours a day. And I've used them many times. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I encourage you to come back and see my other GDOC videos. Thanks.